double digits. This is my 10 week pregnancy update. So this week I actually had another scan. Never thought I would be with hyperemesis gravidarum where I literally can't even like keep myself hydrated. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I will be giving you guys my 10 week pregnancy update. My pregnancy test video has already gone live so you guys can check that out. I'm gonna put it in the cards now and also I'll link it down below. You guys can check out how that went. There was a little bit of a test fail so it's kind of an interesting little part to check out that has never happened to me before do check out that video so if you guys are new to my channel I'm a mom of two little kids I have a graduate degree in chemistry I have a three-year-old and a two-year-old I'm passionate about frugal living minimalism and just simple living so if all of that sounds good to you guys please subscribe to my channel below for more videos on these topics I have plenty of frugal tips on my channel and a lot more coming your way so please do subscribe and also click the bell notification that is the only way to make sure that you actually see my videos come up so without further ado let's get on with this pregnancy update digits so baby is the size of an olive so this week I actually had another scan right at my OB's office so I was 10 weeks and 5 days but baby measured 11 weeks and 1 day already so that's 69.3 percentile and this is kind of very usual with my children they always measure ahead and actually so far this baby measures the smallest out of all my kids at this stage in pregnancy <laughs> we will see how it's gonna progress now let me show you there's my itty bitty tiny baby they did the heartbeat again heartbeat was 166 beats per minute and uh, yeah, and I'm measuring ahead, but not a whole week ahead. They will only change your due date if you measure over a week or like a week plus ahead, then they will change your due date. But for me, this is only like, um, what? three days so it's not really a big deal so my symptoms this pregnancy are extreme nausea so far I have had nausea in pregnancies before but this pregnancy it has really been on like a whole nother level yeah, this past week actually has been the most rough pregnancy week in terms of nausea and vomiting in all of my pregnancies so it started out like I was kind of really nauseous I thought like okay maybe I need to eat something <laughs> so I made myself eggs and it was evening time so I had eggs and then it just all started coming up and I was like okay maybe eggs was the wrong choice <laughs> and so I threw up and then it just kept going like I just kept throwing up then I was like okay I need to drink something I drank water then the water would come up it lasted like the evening the whole night I was like in and out uh, just like throwing everything up then in the morning like my stomach was obviously very empty and I was still throwing up like it was like bile basically and I was like okay I'm really thirsty like I, I want to drink something and like hydrate myself so I tried uh, just continuously drinking water and every time I drink even a sip of water it will just come right back up and I was like violently vomiting like it was really 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 bad and that lasted a whole other day and I was like okay like this is kind of not improving and the weekend was kind of coming up so I decided okay I'm gonna message my OB's my OB's office and uh, just explain to them what's going on and if there's something I can do so I sent a message like okay vomiting since last night it's not really stopping <clears throat> I can't keep water down what do I do and they um, and the nurse actually replied with kind of like a generic uh, recipe for what to do it was like okay make sure you stay hydrated blah blah blah, blah. And then I replied and I was like, I actually can't stay hydrated. Like everything I try to drink uh, comes right back up. Uh, I was like sucking on little ice cubes just so like my mouth wouldn't be so dry because I literally was like throwing up everything. My ribs were like really hurting from like violent vomiting. Like it was really bad. So basically I have hyperemesis gravidarum and they prescribed me Zofran, which I'm always really, really iffy about. Um, 
taking medication in pregnancy like I won't even take Tylenol, Advil, anything like that for pain uh, when I'm pregnant um, and Zofran I did look it up and there are some risks to the baby so I was like okay I'm gonna give myself one more day if I'm really really like I can't keep water down then I will start taking it just so like you know that's another risk for the baby if I'm dehydrated luckily like in a day it kind of went away the insane vomiting but uh, yeah that was pretty crazy so that happened this week my nausea has been really insane this past week like it's really really bad but so far I have avoided taking uh, Zofran and I really don't want to there's also like some sleeping pill I know that you can just take over the counter um, that also like helps with nausea but again I don't want to take any medication that I don't have to like I can put up with nausea I'm just kind of worried like okay if I'm throwing up like violently and continuously then that's also risky for the baby but nausea is not risky for the baby it's just really unpleasant for me and I can put up with that so that's what's going on this week never thought I would be with hyperemesis gravidarum where I literally can't even like keep myself hydrated like it's really quite brutal now my nausea usually is the worst like in the evenings like 5 p.m. it just hits and then I'm like barely surviving the evening like from 5 until basically I go to bed and the only thing that seems to help a little tiny bit is jello it's so strange this is like the first pregnancy when I crave something like that in my previous pregnancy with my second baby with my son I craved so spicy foods like really really spicy stuff and in my first pregnancy with my daughter I craved sushi fruit and pad thai this pregnancy I have the strongest craving for like Ukrainian foods by the way if you guys are new I am Ukrainian myself so yeah I have the strong cra craving for like Ukrainian food stuff that I like grew up eating all kinds of like cold salads and herring if you guys have ever had the Ukrainian salo that's what I really really have been craving but there's like no way to find it here where I live also I'm not sure how safe it is to consume it in pregnancy now for the jello I actually add quite a bit of lemon juice to it to like balance out the flavor it's too sweet and I want something kind of sour also so it really helps to add a bunch of lemon juice into my jello and then it's kind of cold and soothing and it's kind of something a little bit sour for me to like keep the nausea away but yeah so far this pregnancy jello is like the only thing that really helps me now another strong symptom that i think is like the worst uh this pregnancy is very very low energy like i can't really get through the day unless like i have a little nap or if i don't have a nap then i'm really really suffering by the evening like sometimes i just want to like pass out at like 5 p.m it's really really brutal like the lack of energy this pregnancy i've also been told that i have iron deficiency and that i need to supplement so i'm starting that and hopefully that will kind of help with my energy levels because it is kind of like way way lower than I have experienced with my previous pregnancies and I hope that iron uh, supplementation will help me now in terms of like aches and pains I have had some like sciatica pain nothing too serious in my first pregnancy I definitely had it way worse like to the point where I couldn't even walk some days in my first trimester like it was pretty crazy but so far like I just know some stretches I stretch out uh, my body and uh, yeah that really helps with like any kind of sciatica pain in terms of pelvic pain i have had it really bad after my second child i even did um like physical therapy and that seemed to actually make it worse so i like gave birth a few months passed and i did physical therapy for a few months and then i stopped and then it took like a year i think to really like get rid of the insane like intense pelvic pain that I had it was like literally like in the bone very painful as if like a nerve was like being pinched uh, there it took like a year to get rid of that and so far I've been fine I'm only 10 weeks pregnant now so there's not so much like pressure on the bone yet I'm wondering how it's gonna be a little bit later in the pregnancy but so far it's not really anything 
uh, terrible at all like I'm doing fine actually in terms of sore breasts now for me since I'm still nursing my second child that hasn't really happened what has happened is that my milk has kind of dropped a little bit I think and that's why like when he latches it's kind of painful my body's trying to like okay stop the milk like we don't need to be making milk but he's still nursing so he like latches and it kind of hurts for a little bit until the milk comes in and then it comes in and then it's it's okay but i have been trying to wean him but like very very gently and slowly because it's been really hard actually <laughs> weaning him and so far it's not really working too great but i'm taking my time and uh, we still have a lot of time to go until baby comes there's not really like a dire need for me to wean him right now but i do want to have him weaned like a few months before I'm due like I don't really want to be nursing too much in the third trimester other than that I have skipped a lot of gym time which is really like important to me just physically and mostly like for my mental health I really like going to the gym and I have missed a lot a lot of my gym days in the last couple of months um i'd say so i'm really wanting to like get back into my routine hopefully soon i'll start feeling a little better i'm hoping that like once second trimester hits i will be feeling much much better so thank you guys so much for following along with my journey if you haven't watched my pregnancy test video please check it out and i'll uh, link it down below and if you guys want to see videos on topics like frugal living decluttering minimalism some parenting videos just all the things that i care about please be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification button so that you get notifications from youtube when my videos go live thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye It's not for me to say you